how to make a reservation. Click on the reservation button. Click new. Select the room type. Select the arrival date. Select the departure date. If you know the number of nights, you can input the number of nights. Let's say seven nights and press the tab button so that the departure date will change automatically. Number of adults one. During reservation, either we can select the room number or we can select the room number at the time of check-in. The rate type is regular tariff. The tariff is 180. I'm going to edit, edit the tariff now. Click on tariff edit. I'm going to change the tariff, let's say 500. And I'm going to copy the tariff for all the days. So click on the arrow mark, update. So it got copied. In this screen, even if you want to have a different tariff for a specific date, I can change, let's say 550. And if you want to copy the same tariff for the rest of the days, click the arrow mark, update, and it got copied, save. Now the guest name, let's say the guest name is Saeed Mohammed. So the last name is Mohammed, and first name is Saeed and press enter. If you want to create a new profile, click yes, else you will find the name below the list. So I created a new guest. Now let's enter into the guest profile screen. Select the country, let's say United Arab Emirates. I can type the country over here, United Arab Emirates. So you've got the country nationality and also the work country as UAE. Now you can also fill the personal information like profession, date of birth, and also you can fill the credit card number with the authorization, pre-authorization amount if required. You can also capture the photograph or signature. And if you have any likes and dislikes, let's say the guest says seaside rooms, you can enter. If there is any dislike, you can enter that. And if the guest has any food allergies, let's say seafood allergy and if you have any hotel commands if you enter any hotel commands this will come as a warning message when you check in or when you make a reservation for the same guest you can also see the statistics how many visits when was this last visit when was the last room rate total revenue generated ARR and so on you can also in enter the passport information the passport information you can also enter the date of issue, date of expiry. And you can also see the visits. If the guest is a regular guest, when you click display, system will show you all his visits, previous visits. Also, you can see his complaints. When you click display, it will show all his complaints. What we entered is the address. You can also enter his mobile number and email address. If you enter an email address while saving the reservation, system will ask you, do you want to send a confirmation email. I'm clicking save. Now I'm going to enter the guest status as regular, guest type as corporate, segment as corporate, payment mode, let's say the guest is going to pay the cash, reservation mode, he made the reservation by telephone, billing instruction, this cash will be paid by the guest directly, source of business, whose company he came to about a hotel. Now the company, you can have a list of companies over here. If you don't find your company over here, you can create a new company by clicking new. So you get a company profile screen. Let's say I'm going to create a company called Samsung Corporation. Short name I can create as Samsung. The type of company is corporate. It's a company, not the credit card travel agent. Let's say company. Billing name, if you want to have a separate billing name, you can enter there. Else, you can have the same name copy and you can paste it over here. Segment, it's a corporate company. Source of business through corporate. And if you have the address of the company, you can fill over here, including the contact person name. And go to accounts. This has to be linked to the corporate company. Now I click save. So I got the company created and when I refresh, I'll see the company over here. I selected the company. So I click, I select the company here. You got the Samsung Corporation. Now I'm going to fill the reservation instruction. 
let's say provide extra bed guest special request maybe the guest required internet check-in instruction let's say collect passport check out instruction hand over the passport also collect the room keys PO is instruction let's say DB free rest on tax cost if you see here we are made as room only if you want to change the plan you can click over here you can select to either half board full board or bed and breakfast let's say bed and breakfast and also the status of the reservation is confirmed you can have confirmed wait list you can have one more status called tenity okay also you can fill the arrival flight details bk one two three sixteen hundred hours and if you want to have a pickup you can click the pickup so that in the pickup and drop list report you will get all this information departure let's say ek one to four twelve hundred hours and drop is not required and let's say there is something called reference number booking.com when they call you they will not give you the information by reservation number they will give their reference number so you can search a reservation by the reference number also let's say i'll put some reference number so this ref with this reference number you can retrieve the reservation later i hope this is clear with this i'm going to save the reservation i click save reservation is made reservation number is 17. i click ok this we are completing one reservation